When radiation began leaking from the stricken power plants, the fallout was felt more than 5,000 yeah. miles away. Capital drugs. At this pharmacy speaking. near Los Angeles, all sold out of potassium iodide. There's people that are that are really worried they're going from store to store. The pills can prevent the thyroid from developing cancer caused by radiation. But are they really necessary here? I think that's extremely unlikely that uh, there will be any risk to uh, folks in this country. Um, I mean, the distance is simply so large that the cloud will be so dispersed by the time it reaches the U.S. Even in Japan, not far from the reactors, the actual threat is relatively low, say radiation experts. Because there is an evacuation zone, very few people are going to get doses even comparable to a chest x-ray, which is a, a pretty low radiation dose. Radiation can damage human cells. It's measured in something called millisieverts. A chest x-ray emits about a tenth of a millisievert. Nuclear plant workers are limited to 20 millisieverts a year. 100 millisieverts in one dose can increase the risk of cancer. And 100 to 500 can cause bone marrow damage, leading to infection and death. Reports say radiation levels were as high as 400 millisieverts an hour at the plant today. But they fell dramatically, first to 11.9, then 0.6. To put this in perspective, in Chernobyl, among people who became sick, the radiation dose ranged from 800 to 1.6 million millisieverts, much higher than what's being measured so far in Japan. Katie? All right. Dr. John LePook, John, thank you.